Welcome to Road to WrestleMania, starting with WrestleMania for the NES. This month is going to be like a WrestleMania month for the Ron Moore channel because I am celebrating my Road to WrestleMania because on April 3rd, I will be at at t Stadium in Dallas, Texas attending WrestleMania for the first time ever. So yeah, I get to fulfill a long time dream of mine to actually attend a WrestleMania live. So I thought I'd do a series of old school wrestling videos on my channel this month leading up to WrestleMania. And what better game to start out with? Well, actually there's many better games to start out with than WrestleMania for NES because this is not the best wrestling game out there. But it was pretty much like probably the first res wrestling game I played when I was a kid. And me and my friends really loved this game back then. I mean, especially because we were big time WWF fans, especially of Hulk Hogan. And I know there were better wrestling games at the time, like of course the arcade classics, Superstars and WrestleFest. But I never got to play those when I was a kid. I never went to the arcades that much, as, as much as I would have loved to go to have gone and so yeah I'm just gonna start out with Wrestlemania for the NES and this game has not aged well and for those of you who don't know me and Swindoll did a low budget review of this game back in 2008 the link is in the description box below check it out so yeah they could have at least put a crowd in the background for crying out loud I mean pro wrestling for Sega Master System had a crowd it probably wasn't a much better wrestling game. Actually, I, in some ways it is. It had more moves. Pro wrestling, though, for NES was much better than this. Um, this track you're hearing right here, in the game, it's the Million Dollar Man's track, but it's really not, of course. This is before he had his famous It's All About the Money entrance music. The actual song they're using right here, the actual track, is... Girls in Cars, I think from Strike Force, the tag team, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't realize that two years later, after this game came out. I mean, years and years later, I watched uh, old school stuff on YouTube, and Strike Force came out, and I said, "This sounds like, this sounds familiar. It sounds like the Million Dollar Man's music in WrestleMania for NES." Um, kind of catchy though. I'm not sure who did the uh, music for this game. I gotta go back and look. I'll check Wegos channel. And right here, I'm trying to figure out how to freaking pin. I forgot. It's kind of tricky to pin in this game. And as Swindoll said in our, in our old review, they're walking around looking like some idiots. All right, now we can hit the classic Real American 8-bit version. At least I'm poning dollar here. Use the barge, as Skip would say. Oh, there it is, down in something. It's kind of tricky. Pwned. All right, so Million Dollar Man has been pwned. Let's move on to the next opponent. I did get the Million Dollar Man's autograph in 2012. And there's the autograph picture right there I got in 2012. That was a very cool moment. I tweeted that to Teddy B. Austin. He retweeted it. Thank you very much, Million Dollar Man. All right, so bigger, better, badder. I don't think so, but anyway, let's move on. I hear my name again. I'm, this time, ECW. Yeah, this game is far from ECW. I'm sorry. I mean, it brings back some good memories. I mean, back then, when I was like in kindergarten, first grade. I mean, this was fun to me. All right, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. He is ECW. And so now I'm in a tournament. And there's a time limit. I forgot what it goes up to. Oh, man. It's got, oh, wait. No, I forgot. I'm savage. Pay attention. I kind of want to play as a million dollar man. But I really didn't like using him in this game. Because he doesn't really kick. He, like, just jabs. And I always thought it was weak in this game. Once again, girls and cars track. Oh, he just did a kick right there. Well, wow, I just learned something new. Maybe because I just sucked at this game, that's why. I 
Vince Window trying to put his full name in here and it wouldn't fit. And he was like, man, that's bunk. What about people that live in Zimbabwe with them long ass names? They can put they can't put their name in this game. Come on, man. That's cool that Macho Man he's wearing his sunglasses during the match. It's cool that he just elbows you because that's his signature move, the big elbow. Come on, Macho Man, you beat him in WrestleMania 4 for the title. This is one year before WrestleMania 4, I think. I think this game came out, like, right around WrestleMania 3 or after. Yeah, some, probably around that time or after, because Million Dollar Man debuted in 87, and that was, I think he made his debut after WrestleMania 3. See, people think I know everything about wrestling. I don't. I need to brush up on some stuff. I'm a little rusty. Oh, he kicked out. All right, we get to listen to some pomp and circumstance. Yeah, I had a friend named Britt when I was little. Still keep in contact with him on Facebook today. We played this game a lot. We borrowed it from each other. Along with Simon's Quest. Good times. Come on, hit him. What? Just don't stand there. I'm pu pushing buttons here. This is ridiculous. Jeez, so Macho Man's track is already over. And they're playing Girls and Cars again. This is a long freaking track. Jeez. Pin the guy. Man, this is confusing. Eric Man Super did a review of this on YouTube years ago, and he was talking about how tricky it was to pin somebody. I'm just mashing buttons here because I already forgot how to play this game. I mean, geez, even my low budget review wasn't doing that good. I got pwned by the honky tonk man. Pin the guy. Come on. I wonder if you can actually do signature moves in this game. I really don't freaking remember. Alright, forget it. I'm just gonna start over. Just forget the tournament mode. Because I want to play as other people here. Alright, forget it. I'm not putting my name in this time. Let's just go with it. Alright. Andre the Giant. I'm gonna play as this guy right here. Managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan. My opponent, Hulk Hogan. Will Andre get his revenge? Here we go. Ooh. At least in this game, they make the wrestlers look like their actual size. Because if you remember in games like Royal Rumble and Raw, even Diesel looked the same size as pretty much everybody else. It's like, what? All right. So that cross back there, like, if Hogan gets that, he can regain his energy. Each wrestler has their own unique. Is it right there? What is that? I think it's a foot for Andre the Giant. Look at this. Pwned. Andre gets his revenge real quick at WrestleMania. All right. This is Andre the Giant's supposed track. Weird. I don't think he even had entrance music. Andre did not have entrance music. If he did, I don't think it was this one. Girls in Cars actually sound better. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. But anyway, who am I going to pick next? Bam Bam Bigelow, former ECW World Television Champion. I think he's in the Hall of Fame, is he? If not, he should be. Jeez, Honky Tonk Man now. Come on, Big Low. You should be able to pwn Honky Tonk Man. The guitar is already coming out. Ah, who wants to hear the Honky Tonk Man sing? Not me. Look at this, man. The same thing happened to me in Low Budget Reviews. How is the Honky Tonk Man just whooping me? Look at that. That probably made him... They probably made him difficult because he sucked as a wrestler. So they probably gave him a fair advantage on here. Jeez. Oh, 
<laughs> Nothing personal to uh, whatever his real name is, but I never liked the character Honky Tonk Man. Never. Even though this song is catchy right here, on the 8-bit version at least. Jeez. I remember Honky 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 Love from WrestleMania 6. That was terrible. A little trivia for those of you who don't know. WrestleMania 6, the guy driving Honky Tonk Man to the ring was none, none other than Diamond Dallas Page. Come on, Bigelow, man. Really? He's Bigelow's music. I don't even remember him having this track, but maybe he did. Okay, just don't tell me I'm going to get beat by Honky Tonk Man. Man, that's completely pathetic. How pathetic is that? I'm going to go ahead and do... I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I will do a series of old school wrestling games. I'm not sure exactly what's going to be next, but... That's going to be old school wrestling games I played through my childhood, so stay tuned. They don't. They might not necessarily be WWE games. I do not know for sure. I don't have a list in front of me of what I'm going to do next, but off the top of my head, I'll think of something. And so stay tuned on the road to WrestleMania. God bless and take care.